I'm Dan with Six Monkeys, and uh, today we're gonna go through a little bit of an install video, just a quick video, kind of uh, explaining how to put this thing on the front of your Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a front lower guard. This is our pod light version. Uh, we have big openings that are cut out for your uh, recovery points and recessed pod lights in the front. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of go through it and give a rundown on how to install this thing. So the first thing you need to do to your Grand Cherokee is remove the front lower fascia. Um, there's a ton of YouTube videos out there. You can just look them up. It's, it's really easy to do, self-explanatory. Uh, the next thing you need to do is locate the foam block that's connected to the front crash bar. It's in the center of the vehicle. Um, it kind of hangs out a little bit from the upper fascia. Uh, there's a couple bolts in it. You're going to want to drop that out and get that out of the way. Um, the next thing you need to do is loosen up the three 10 millimeter bolts on the lower side of the radiator support. Um, they're also the bolts that hold your factory sound deadeners. So you're going to remove those and hold on to them. Um, on that same radiator support, you're going to find uh, a set of bolts on either side. They're 13 millimeter. They have a big washer. They're usually gray. They stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, you're going to back out the lower ones about an inch. Um, they basically just hold the, the radiator subframe together, but you can back them out quite a ways. You can even remove them. Uh, we make a few different versions of these. One has a, a pod light, or the pod lights. One has a, a 20 inch light bar cut out. So at this point, you want to install your pod lights or your light bar. Um, if you don't have either one of those versions, you're going to have the ACC version or you're gonna have the, uh, just the slotted version and you don't need to do any prep work on those. Uh, if you notice on the bottom of this, we have four tabs. Now, for some reason, Mopar only put three, three bolts on the bottom of the radiator sport. Uh, they don't have a bolt in this one. You can either buy a nut cert tool and, and put a bolt in here or self-tapping screw with a big washer. Um, or you can just leave it, it's fine. Uh, the next step is gonna be to slip this up in place. Uh, the best way to do that is with a helper. Uh, someone grab one side, someone grab the other side. It's gonna slip up underneath the front fascia. So it's gonna almost cover this. And depending on what model year you have of the Grand Cherokee, uh, this profile will change. It'll be bigger, it'll be smaller, you'll have some different cutouts for the older versions. Um, and you can always trim it down to your liking. Um, I get asked all the time uh, what product you can use to finish that trim on the factory front fascia. And uh, we pick up edge trim. We use edge trim. You can find it on Amazon, it's pretty cheap. And it just pushes onto that and, and it gives it a good finished look. So the next step is to slide this up in place, get it uh, in between the crash bar and the, the upper fascia. Uh, sometimes, depending on the model, these corners on the driver's side will hit and it'll be really tight. You'll have a little gap between your, your mount and your radiator subframe. Uh, we supply these quarter inch washers. If for some reason yours is that model that hits, slip these spacers in there. They'll space it away. You'll have all the clearance you need. Um, tightening down. Uh, underneath, you're going to reinsert the bolts, get them hand tight. Don't tighten them all the way down. Uh, you're going to obviously slip the bolts on the upper support into these slots. Uh, once you get this hand tight, it's going to pick it up into place. And then you're going to come in through here to tighten up your 13 millimeter bolts. And you tighten those all the way up completely and then get back under and tighten up the, the three or four in, in the bottom. Other than that, uh, install should be pretty straightforward, very easy. They should protect the front of your Grand Cherokee very nicely. And again, this is a raw piece. We actually just built this one out today. They get coated in barricade bed liner. Um, if you receive one that's scratched up, let us know. We'll send you out a touch up kit or we have touch up kits uh, available online in case we scratch one up out in the trails. Um, other than that, this should uh, 
outlast your Jeep and give you really good uh, protection in the front. If you have any questions or comments regarding install or any of our products, uh, leave a comment down below. We'll uh, check it out and we'll get back to you or email us. Um, you'll even find my personal phone number on our website. Feel free to text message me or give me a call. Be happy to help.